Civil Engineering Academy. All right, a problem states that objects, shear, and normal stresses are shown below. What is the maximum shear stress in the object most nearly? So we've got some sort of object, and we're given some principal stresses as well as um, shear values. So how are we going to solve this? Well, if you're using the Civil Engineering Reference Manual for your PE exam, Chapter 44 goes over um, some of this stuff. So, you know, normal stresses are principal, str principal stresses. And we were asked to find shear, though. Shear stresses. Okay, so the equation that we want to use, I'm going to pull from equation 44.20. And that equation basically states that our shear, the max or the min, is equal to plus minus. So plus for max, minus for min, one half square root of stress in the x direction minus stress in the y direction squared plus two times your shear squared. This whole thing is square root. Okay, that's this equation. Boom. So what do we have here? We've got a negative stress because it's going down. Um, our shear is positive. That's this value here and here. And this value is positive x direction. So we have uh, our uh, x stress is um, positive and the y is negative. So we've got to pay attention to those signs as we solve for this. So the next thing we need to do is just plug in everything and go for it. So the maximum is going to be positive. So one half square root of this whole thing. So X stress is 10,000 PSI minus a negative 2,000 squared plus 2 times 2,500 squared. Okay, all we got to do now is punch all that in. So two negatives is a positive, so you add those two up, square it, plus two times this squared, square root of that times one half, and I get an answer of 6254.99. And so the answer, if it's asking for most nearly, it looks like we're going to be rounding this guy up because the most near answer here is 6300 PSI. So the answer to this is D. Alright, so I hope this helped you out. If you have uh, more questions, maybe want to research some more circle type stuff, then review chapter 44 in the Civil Engineering Reference Manual. So I hope this helped you out, and we'll see you next time.